I am a Ron Paul supporter and uh, have been since uh, May 2007. Um, so this video is going to be about my endorsement to Ron Paul, and if that even matters. Um, <clears throat> maybe some of the reasons, it's going to be about some of the reasons I uh, want him as president. Now, uh, I first got into Ron Paul, like many people, back in the 2008 election um, because I was just changing the channels and I saw this debate going on, um, I think at the Reagan Library, maybe, um, but it was in May 2007, and I was, I just watched it for a couple minutes, you know, just like anybody would do, just, if they saw something on TV, just stop real quick, and I heard a couple of the guys speak, and I was like, oh my god, what are they even talking about, just blah, 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 and then immediately when I saw when it was Ron Paul's turn to speak I was like holy crap I understand what he's talking about for once I understand a what a politician is talking about this is amazing and I immediately had to look up some stuff on him uh, and I had to watch the rest of the debate and as I was watching the debate I was looking up stuff and just hours looking up stuff on Ron Paul and I was just so amazed on the things that he was saying and how it actually made sense, and he would, in the way he was speaking, how how he would back it up. And it just seemed so honorable what he was speaking about. It was just amazing, and it just struck a chord with me, like it does with many people. And I think the things that he talks about, which I'll get into, um, is the reason why people are so passionate for him. If you see a Ron Paul supporter, that Ron Paul supporter knows what the, the Ron Paul is talking about. Um, and it feels a duty, you know, to support him. The, the, he doesn't lose supporters. No, there's no supporters that flip flop. I've never seen this at uh, Ron Paul. And, and, and right now he's third place in the Gallup poll, which is the main poll people look at for presidential elections before the primaries. And so he's a, uh, he could win this thing, you know, he could do very well. And it's just very, very exciting to me. And, and, and I never got into politics until Ron Paul and the things that he are saying and he's right now he's the only candidate the main major candidate um, that is saying to to get out of the overseas get out even get out of Germany get out of Japan uh, militarily and, and in all aspects of the government um, get out of just all overseas bases. Just why are we protecting Germany? Why are we in Japan? You know, why are we in the Middle East? I mean, for a, I don't know, for a pipeline, for strategical advantage against Russia and China. I mean, why are we there? And um, he just makes so, makes so much sense. And he, he talks about freedoms at home. How he wants to make. Um, it, decisions be more locally um, have, have the st have states have their individuality back rather than all these federal reg regulations have states um, do what they want to do and and have people if they don't like the views of from say just be able to move to another state um, you know rather than everything be forced on from the federal federal government like um, no marijuana you can't you can't um, sell marijuana. You can't even, you can't smoke it in your home, you know, you can't, do you know how, I mean, it's just, so, why at a federal level does that need to be made? Is it that bad, really? Um, you know how prosperous we could, more prosperous we could be for having, being able to sell and use marijuana? It could be made to use, uh, to be made to use, to make uh, clothes, to make a better type of nylon, it, it could so many things that you could use to sell. I mean, medically, I mean, what's so wrong with people smoking in their homes? I mean, as long as they're not driving inhibited, that's that's fine. I mean, why? I mean, why not even let heroin be used? I mean, if people want to be a, a dumbass, then try to stop them, you know, but not through the government. I mean, the, the, obviously heroin is bad. It's not going to be good for you. It's going to have your body and everything um, 
in a very bad way. Um, but why do we have to have the government tell you not to do it? The federal government, not even the state government. Um, and why do we have to um, pay the income tax? There's, there actually is no law. You could, I recommend it to anyone watching this video. Do not pay your income tax because there is no law to saying that you can, you have to pay your income tax. There are most cases for people that go into court for not paying their income tax, they get acquitted. They, they even unanimously the jury proves them innocent because the prosecutor can cannot bring up a law for saying you have to pay income, income tax. That's amazing. The, I mean, I watched a documentary on this thing, and it, there's no law, and that's your that can be your defense, and that's. How is there not a law for paying the income tax? It's surprising to me. And you know, we don't even need an income tax. I mean, it happened, I think it came around in like early nine, 1900s. We, if we didn't have income tax, we'd be fine as long as we're out of all these overseas um, issues, you know, bases. Um, I don't really like saying war. I don't really like even saying conflict. Um, we, we could. Um, we could be, we'll be, we would be fine financially. There's certain things that, like your drivers, paying for your driver's license, paying for your reg car registration, that pays for the highways. There are certain things you can, you you pay for that so supply the needs of your day to day life, like the, the highways. Um, boy, why can't I think of anything right now? But you don't, we don't need income tax. I mean, general taxation of your income just taxing your income is it's not right I mean that's what you earned if you want to I mean at a federal level taking it I just don't agree I just don't agree with it I mean what is the and also he wants to get rid of the Federal Reserve and a lot of people don't know about the Federal Reserve They're like oh Federal Reserve oh that must be a federal that must be a federal part of the federal government it actually isn't it says federal as Federal Express it's a private bank um, it, what it does, it, it it's pretty much our printing press uh, for all, all I need to know. Um, and what happens is we use the Federal Reserve to bail out banks when they get in trouble. I mean, we print the money out of, out of thin air based off of nothing. In 1971, we went off the gold standard, so now money can just be printed out of thin air and, and to be used for wars and anything. I mean, Ron Paul wants it to be... Um, the money to be based off goal off of something. He also wants competing currencies. What's wrong with that? You know, <clears throat> why why do we have to have federal a federal reserve to where um, people in our federal government can just get money whenever they want, just print it and cause inflation? You know, and this inflation tax, it's a, it's a hidden fl inflation tax pretty much, and uh, your savings gets hit. Everything gets hit when you print money because it devalues the dollar, and and this is what Ron Paul speaks. This, this is why I know about this stuff. I mean, it, I don't know why other candidates don't speak about it. Maybe they're they're they've been bought off. You know, why don't they speak about this stuff? Well, um, <clears throat> so it's just this inflation tax just hurts the people because if the people need their, the money they don't want the de their vol their dollar devalued um, because it, it just drives a wedge between the middle class and lower class and to the upper class because the upper class just have so much money the, the inflation really doesn't hurt them too much and the people uh, middle class and lower class just get hit hard by some inflation when if they just had money based off goal or based off something um, like gold or silver or had even competing currencies they'd be fine you know he just wants to get rid of all, all these federal regulations all these uh, the, the Department of Education why can't states figure out how to educate people why can't there be more freedom I I'm just a big Ron Paul guy I could talk about it for a while um, but that's my 10 minutes this video